Hey Thomas, this is your uh, T5024 booster off of your 61220B and I was taking this vacuum port plug out and had the fluid start to come out so I thought maybe it'd be fun to see how much fluid is in here. Actually it's not fun, it's not what I had in mind to have happen but let's see how much fluid you got in here. Alright, that black is from the rubber that's inside your vacuum diaphragm that is not resistant to or that's not brake fluid proof it resists the brake fluid for a long time but it's not um, like it, it's not rubber designed to be in contact with brake fluid I don't know why the Germans did that it's just the stupidest thing the vacuum parts are not designed to come in contact with brake fluid but as soon as the booster fails, that's the first thing that happens is uh, the rubber parts come in contact with brake fluid. So, I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol, pour it in here, slush it around, and try to clean this out a little bit before I disassemble it. Um, and, well, no, maybe I'll do no, I guess I'll just disassemble it real quick because I, this stuff cannot be left in there. Anyway, problem is. The parts that we need to reuse in terms of vacuum uh, diaphragms are no longer that are no longer available are in here. We need to reuse them, and I hope that that brake fluid has not been sitting in there too long and has caused too much trouble. We won't know until we get in there.